as violence and use of explosives have become a regular feature in religious and political processions. The Calcutta High Court observed this while transferring cases to the National Investigation Agency. We saw the kind of violence that took place during Ram Navmi recently and while transferring these cases to the NIA, the Calcutta High Court has made some very important observations in that it's actually uh, wrapped the state police and it said that uh, these kind of violence or perhaps the use of explosives have become a common feature. So definitely a setback to the state machinery there with special mention of uh, discredit to the state police when it comes to maintaining the law and order. The Ram Nami violence continued for many days in parts of West Bengal. Going across to my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar. Ananya, good morning to you. What do you make of the observations of the Calcutta High Court? Well, Shilpa, you know, the Calcutta High Court has uh, gone on to say a lot of things and in fact, a very, very crucial observation when it comes to the Ram Nami violence that have taken place uh, in, in the state of West Bengal's Havada district and other districts as well. Clearly saying that ex explosives are, uh, are frequently used in religious and political professions. Further, going on to wrap the uh, West Bengal police, clearly saying that the police has deliberately not investigated this matter. However, the court noted that these matters have now been sent to the National Investigation Agency for, uh, in fact, investigation. And uh, definitely, and I'll read down certain portion of this order. Therefore, we are convinced uh, that no useful purpose would be served by directing the state police to register cases under the Explosive Substances Act or other act as scheduled act as the matter has traveled beyond the set stage and it is a fit case where the entire investigation should be uh, transferred to the National Investigation Agency. This is a very, very clear direction that the NIA would be coming in into the picture when it comes to the Ram Nami violence that had taken place in, in, in the Havra district uh, of, uh, in fact, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the state of West Bengal. Clearly, very, very... Um, uh, yeah, yeah. crucial observation yeah, yeah. coming in from a uh, division bench of uh, the, the Calcutta High Court. So definitely, now what the NIA would be doing in this particular case, the National yeah. Investigation Agency, which is and was formed in, uh, to, uh, in fact, investigate mm. in cases of terror angles, in cases where explosives are involved, and has now finally uh, yeah. been tasked to actually investigate into the Ram Nami violence case. Thank you very much for joining us, Ananya. Also going across to Mr. Manujit Mandal of the TMC. Very good morning to you, sir. This was a PIL that was filed by BJP's Suvendu Adhikari. Very strong observations by the Calcutta High Court. They say deliberate inaction on the st a part of the state police. This, do you view it as a setback to the West Bengal government? No, first of all, it was not a PIL. It was a political interest litigation filed by Suvendu Adhikari. And he is known for doing that. And secondly, as far as the investigation is concerned, I think uh, Howrah police or the Bengal police, they are doing tremendous job. They caught uh, almost all the culprits, including the principal one from uh, the Munger of Bihar. Uh, and most of them, uh, you know, somehow belong to the BJP. Now we want to understand, if NIA comes in the picture, will this BJP uh, criminals will be let off? We suspect that NIA has been specifically brought in to give some shelter to this BJP, you know, leaders. Because it was amply clear, even on TV, that the, the, the persons who are carrying arsenal and guns, most of them belong to BJP. They don't belong to any religion. They don't belong to any, you know, any, any color. But they are simply goons, harbored and sheltered by BJP. And BJP is known for doing that. You have one terror accused in the parliament, not accused in the parliament, terror charged in the parliament by the name of Prajatin Thakur. So BJP's history in this in country is known to everyone. Secondly, and the most important question that I want to put humbly to the Honorable Calcutta High Court, till now, in the last 21 months, after this government, the West Bengal government took oath in May 2021, there are at least 22 such investigations by the central agency. CBI, NIA, and they were all ordered by mm. the Calcutta High Court. I want to understand from the learned court mm. how in how, how many of those cases there have been logical conclusions, there have been charged, or how many of these okay. cases actually have you know okay. nabbed the TMC leaders. We believe that the NIA was okay. NIA okay. was created for you know investigating into 
serious crime against the nation. Everyone knows the, the background of formation of mm. NI. Now, if NI is roped into investigating into this kind of cases, you know, communal classes, maybe in a, in a limited okay. area, or even between five between two clubs, as it happened in Mominpur case since uh, six months okay. back. And again, for, for, for the kind information of the Honorable Court, okay. there is no headway in the Mominpur case where NI is again investigating. We want to understand how mm -hmm. my and your public money okay, is Okay, so I take destroyed. your questions into account. I hear you. So we hear you, we hear you. Stay with us on this broadcast. We also have Mr. Shukuntu Majumda joining us from the BJP. So we were speaking uh, to Mr. Manojit Mandal from uh, TMC. You heard his questions. He's saying, why is the NIA involved in a clash that is limited to a particular area? How do you respond to that? See, this, uh, this is a verdict of uh, Kolkata High Court. I don't know whether the Roman Congress is challenging <coughs> the verdict of the High Court Honorable Justice. If they are challenging, then they should go approach to the higher or higher court. First of all, is that, and the second thing is that every time the Calcutta police as well as the West Bengal police, they uh, actually they could not perform their duties. Few months ago, almost one month ago, not more than that, 27,000 kilos of ammonium nitrate. I think uh, the TMC leaders even know the, what is the role of the ammonium nitrate, nitrate and in which purpose is it uh, used. Uh, it is used so that 27,000 kilos, not a matter of joke, the ammonium nitrate from, uh, was recovered from Kolkata by NI. And when uh, the NI recovered it, before that, that even the Kolkata police, they did not have any clue. So this is the situation of the Kolkata police, even in the Ram Navami. I have the video, I have posted it also. In front of Kolkata police, the rioters, they attacking, they were attacking the houses and the apartments. The people, uh, habitants of mm -hmm. those apartments, they made the video. So this was the role of the police. I don't say that police is uh, in equity. Actually, the West Bengal government used the police in political purpose in so many times that now the police has, or Kolkata police had, as well as the West Bengal police, has lost its professionalism. And that is the problem. That's why NIA investigation is needed as uh, it is given by the Kolkata High Court. Parties is there. We welcome it. And I think that uh, the NIA will uh, do a uh, conclusive investigation. Sir, thank you very much for joining us with your views. I also want to thank Mr. Manojit Mandal for joining us on this broadcast. We do have to